instead of being told endlessly to check our privilege, maybe we ought to start saying, check your resentment. In, in your book, The Israel Test, you talk about how basically there, there are two countries where the, entrepreneur, uh, the entrepreneurial spirit yeah. is, has at least historically, been yeah. honored. Yeah. And they are Israel and, and America. We're, we're right. the great, greatest, uh, you know, there have been lots of entrepreneurs all around the world and, right. and all world wealth has sure. existed on them. But, but Israel in particular has been the most fertile source of new ideas and inventions and growth. And I believe that uh, the resentment toward Israel is a test. Right. It's, it's sort of, it shows the real characteristics of the left, that they resent the success of Israel, which is a small embattled country in the Middle East that doesn't really threaten anybody, and uh, which nonetheless is resented and hated more than any other country in the United Nations. So we, and this is, this is really the dark side of human character, that, that uh, a brilliant society like Israel produces many of the uh, inventions that we most value. The Intel Corporation, which is the leading microchip company in the United States, is really uh, from its beginning has been dependent on innovations that have come from Israel. It's Israel. So we, instead of, instead of being told endlessly to check our privilege, maybe we ought to start saying check your resentment. Yeah, you know, that, that's to, right. Yeah. Check your resentment. Yeah. So, it, because what happens is that you, you cite in, the, in your book that uh, uh, the Jewish population of the world is I forget what percentage is, but a small minority. Tiny, less than 1%, I think. Or... Right. And then you look at the Nobel Prizes and the inventions and the patents and mm -hmm. everything. The anti-Semitic response is to look at that and say, well, they must be cheating. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and it strikes me that the, the way to address, I believe that when Paul in Romans 11 talks about Gentiles provoking the Jews to envy, uh, that's the photo negative yeah, uh -huh. of Gentiles envying the Jews, yeah, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So we, we ought to do more of what they're doing. We ought to be like uh -huh. them. Yeah. And we ought to admire the way they admire. Yeah. And, and in your book, you outline uh, that, that uh, your book gave me some very fertile uh, avenues to explore on the, on the comparison between the Gentile nation of America uh -huh. and the Jewish nation of Israel. Um, and, but it, it strikes me that both are interdependent. Interdependent, and both are hated for largely the same reasons. For their goodness. Right. And American Christians are aware of our sin. Are, we're aware of our sinfulness yeah. and and how many times we've fallen. Or, but I, I have this deep suspicion that we're not hated for our sins. But, no, no. But we're hated for the residual virtues. Yep.